Fanatics, what's going on? It's your boy DM3. I'm dropping another video, and today I want to talk about three things that I'm looking forward to heading into training camp. Let's talk about it right now. You know I'm on fire. If you don't know who I be, you better ask somebody about me. Oh. So the first thing that I'm looking forward to is seeing how this offensive line gels and builds and gets tougher and stronger. Brandon Bean brought in an army to build a wall around Josh Allen. I mean a wall. These guys are massive. He brought in maulers. He drafted guys. The whole nine. So I'm anxious to see if Cody Ford is that guy at right tackle. If he is a mauler like he says he is. If Quentin Spain is that left guard that we've needed for so very long. If Deion Dawkins, yes, Deion Dawkins, left tackle, are you back? Are you not back? Are you are you with us? Are you not with us? Are you putting in the work? Let's see it on the field. Ty Inseki, is he going to push these guys? Is Ty Inseki going to say, you know what? I'm going to push everybody else out of the way, and I want to take one of these tackle positions. Mitch Morse, are you going to maul people? Dude, you look crazy in your interviews. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, this guy looks insane, which I love. I want him to just beat up defensive tackles all day long. So I'm anxious to see if all these guys they brought in, all the depth they've added. We still got Wyatt Teller. We drafted, or we brought in Spencer Long. We have all these guys. I am anxious to see what this offensive line can do. I just want Josh Allen to not get injured. I want the running game to get going. I want there to be time in the pocket. All of it. And I think that we finally have stability. We have enough of all these parts. We got to be able to find the rotation that works. Get them in there. I want to see them beating up people. I want to see them mauling people. Let's go. So that's the first thing. Second thing. I want to see what we have with this running back core. We have four guys that I feel like is one of the best running back groups in the NFL. Yes, I said that. Why? I'll tell you why. Versatility is paramount over anything. You have LaShawn McCoy who can do things in space, right? So you got your guy that can get outside. You got your guy that you can run sweet plays with. You got him. Frank Gore, you got your ground and pound between the tackles guy. Goal line situations, Hall of Fame resume speaks for itself in Frank Gore. Then you brought in TJ Yeldon, still a young guy, extremely well in run blocking, extremely well in pass blocking. So this guy can catch passes, he's a scat back, he can do it all, and yes, he still totes the rock, and he still totes the rock pretty good. And then you brought in Devin Singletary. Everybody's raving about this guy in camp. Well, Sean McCoy's raving about him, Frank Gore's raving about him, Coach Dable's raving about him. Coach McDermott's raving about him. Everybody's going crazy for this guy. But everybody complained when we drafted him. So let's see what we have with him. The jury's still kind of out. It's still kind of new. But these four guys give Josh Allen another weapon. Not just in the run game, but these four guys are going to give defenses fits because they are all different cogs, different run style. They can all do different things. So I'm extremely excited to see when these guys get on the field what they bring to the Bills. Now, the last but not least, number one thing I think that I want to see, I think that all of the fans or the majority of the fans want to see is Josh Allen, number 17, Mr. Franchise, Mr. Air Allen. Have you progressed? Have you progressed? Because it looked like at the end of the season you were progressing. You were playing really well. So we won't be able to find out until he gets on the field. Yes, OTAs. He was dropping bombs and throwing dimes. He was doing all this stuff, but there's no defense. There's no coverage. Now, did you work on your accuracy? Did you work on the playbook? Can you read a defense? Can you call audibles? Can you call plays? We're going to see all this stuff. I'm really excited to see what Josh Allen has to bring. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your comments. I want to know what three things are you most looking forward to heading into training camp. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, give me a thumbs up. If you're on Facebook, give me a thumbs up, share it, do all that cool stuff. Am I crazy? Is there anything else going on right now? We got less than three months till football. Are you not excited? I'm excited. Let's talk about it. I'm DM3, and I'll see you on the next one.
Buffalo Fanatics has partnered with YouTube to offer viewers the ability to become sponsored members. Here are all the perks and exclusives included in your member package. Receive a Buffalo Fanatics loyalty badge and get priority when hosts are responding to comments and answering questions inside every live video chat. Access to a member-only community where you'll be able to communicate with our content creators and have more of a say in the content produced. Qualify to stream with our Buffalo Fanatics gaming streamers live on our YouTube and Twitch channels for the world to watch. Never pay shipping fees when shopping inside the Buffalo Fanatics fan shop. Automatically entered into a drawing to win a pair of tickets to the 2019 Buffalo Bills home opener, where you'll hang out and sit with the entire Buffalo team. Drawing will be held live on YouTube in August 2019. We rep the people. We rep Buffalo Fanatics.